Hello everyone, Gadget Girl Kindly here, and welcome to some alpha gameplay of Pankapoo the Dream Keeper. So I'm playing this on my PC. I downloaded the demo from the Kickstarter page for Pankapoo, a link to that is in the video description. You can also find out some information about the game inside my video description as well guys. So a little bit about the game, it still hasn't reached its funded stretch goal as of today the 15th of the 11th 2015 it's still got 11 days to go so if you are interested in this game you like what you see or you played the demo and enjoyed it make sure you back this awesome game it's really gorgeous guys i love the storyline and the way it plays as well so i'm looking forward to showing you guys this game on my channel anyway a little bit more information, some of the stretch goals include English voice acting as well as a PS4, Xbox One and Wii U release. It's a shame that the PS Vita isn't in that list guys because this game would look absolutely gorgeous on the PS Vita. It'd be a really great game to take with you on the go. The colours would really pop on the PS Vita screen. Who knows, maybe if you guys go and bug the devs which are Too Kind Studio, they might actually add a PS Vita release to the stretch goals. Anyway, let's dive straight in. Let's have a look at the controls. So I'm actually using a DualShock 4, guys. For some reason, my Xbox controller wouldn't work with this alpha. I don't know why. But anyway, I prefer DualShock 4s anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Xbox fans. <laughs> so let's play. Okay. Release note, this demo is based on the alpha version of the game, Pankapoo the Dreamkeeper. It presents three different areas that won't be directly connected in the full game. For the purpose of this demo, you have access to the first two ages, Bravery and Ardor. Hopefully I said that correctly. With Bravery, you also... Hang on. That should be... You, sh you also should be able to perform special attacks that cost action points. With Ardor, you can perform a double jump. All these features are normally obtained throughout the course of the game, however in this demo you have them all from the beginning. The sound effects are currently in integration phase. All the sound effects have not yet been implemented, so please bear that in mind guys when I'm performing actions and fighting. If there's no sound effects, this is an alpha. Okay, that's fine. Shaharel, are you all right? It's nothing, sweetie. Just a bad dream because of the storm. Come here. When I was your age, my grandmother used to tell me a story. It kept nightmares away. This tale takes place in the world of dreams known as Omnia. All the beings of this realm lived peacefully, filling the world with hope. Alas, one gloomy day, a horde of creatures passed through the veil, a plane which separates this world from the world of nightmares. These Hyanagi invaded Omni, spreading their corruption wherever they went. The world of dreams was threatened, and with it, all hope was likely to disappear. Fortunately, Ikatomi, the Hymn of Dreams, decided it was time to take action. With his tremendous power, he gathered all the remaining dream matter in Omnia. And gave birth to a guardian that would be able to push back the Hyanagi invasion. His name was Pan Kav, the Dream Keeper. So the artwork is stunning, absolutely beautiful, beautiful. That's right, I said it like that. I 
Hi, Pankapu. I'm going to struggle to say that name, but I'll try it anyway. I'm Iketomi, him of the dreams. You wonder what you're doing here? You are inside Pepu, the tree wood root of Omnia, the world of dreams. Inhabitants of the My Nightmare's territory went through the veil, which prevented them from coming into our realm. Those Hyanagus. I know the guy said it, but I still can't say it. Spread a corruption, faced of which even I am helpless. Fortunately, I have more than one trick up my sleeve, so I created you from dreams in order for you to be in charge of repelling the invasion. Don't worry, little dreamkeeper. You won't be powerless in front of those enemies. I entrust you with the power of the bravery of ages. Equipped with your scarlet armour and your sword, you'll be able to defeat all the nightmares blocking your path. Since you seem to be taking this mission to heart, I'll reveal your first task as a guardian. One of the forest inhabitants, a spirit named Ohiti, seems to have some trouble. Go meet him and help him defeat the higher Nagus that are after him. Go forth, Dreamkeeper. Protect Omnia with the power of your bravery. Just look at how gorgeous this is. So, the controls are a little bit different on the DualShock 4. I believe it said that X was jump, but actually squares jump. X is my shield. Um, circle is attack. Triangle is like a charge up, I think, or it's put fire around me. Oh, there we go. If I just tap it, I do that. And now it won't do it again, so I don't know whether I've used up some kind of bar or something. Stage one, the garden. Let's see if I can actually do better on this than the first time I played this alpha. Right, go on. You need to move out of the way because I don't want to end up getting... There we go. I know there's like little um, gems and things to collect. Wow, that was quick. There we go. As you can see, I had a total control of the situation. It's not like I need help, it's just... You look new around here, and it would, be, it would be bad if you lose yourself. I'm Chi, the magic spider, and I know Omnia like the back of my leg. <laughs> back of my leg. You're looking for Ohiti, right? His house is at the heart of the... Mudjins Pond? You have to cross the lush forest to get there. You know what? I'll come with you, so you won't be lost. And it has nothing to do with those higher Nagus around here. Nothing at all. So let's go. Yeah, yeah. You want me to protect you. These are actually a little different to what they looked like on the alpha version I played. They were like white instead. And they were orbs, not triangles. Oh, there we go. That's the things. That's right, they're the same then. Hey, listen. How lucky. You just found an amymph. Amymph? A nymph. Oh, I can't say that. It holds a unique power for your bravery ages. By picking it up, you just obtained a third attack in your sword combo. There's a lot more of them all around Omnia, but usually those orbs are uncommon and pretty well hidden. Gather them all and you'll become even more powerful. Watch out, Hyanagus the Dreamkeeper is coming. Do that charge up thing.
Bye. On the other alpha I played as well, these little blobs did like a kind of like attack where they had spikes coming out of them. Oh, yes. I don't think you get experience for killing those. Oh, almost run into the spikes, guys. Jump. Up here we go, because there's one over here. Ah! Yeah! We did it! Woohoo! It's so beautiful! Oh, I see. So the little fires do damage. Burn, baby, burn! we go we're doing well collecting those cute fat white flyy thingies glowy things orbs <laughs> oh that's a lot of enemies isn't it Okay, there's nothing else back that way. So I've actually learned how to use that charge up triangle power a little bit better now. Oh no, I jumped down on them. So I think those little red diamonds are health maybe? I don't know. anything back here I remember there being something I don't know maybe I'm just imagining things oh I don't know I don't think so actually Right, let's switch to this other one actually. So square still jump. I don't know what your triangle move is. It doesn't seem to do anything at the moment. Oh, oh. So X is like a sneaky little dodge.
Oh, ow. That hurt me. Oh, man. Yeah, so don't do that while on there. <laughs> oh, yes, he's got a double jump. I did read that, Kylie. Pay attention, gosh darn it. That's a big one! Uh, dead. I think it's dead. I was trying to hold down circle to see if I could charge up my arrow, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Hmm. Can't seem to cling onto the walls. That's weird. You, it's basically like a dash backward, that. So you got to face the opposite way to... Like, because I wanted to go right, I had to face left kind of thing. I would jump directly into that. Of course, Kylie, of course. I've not died yet, at least. That's something, I guess. <laughs> Stage five. So I guess we'll do a mixture of the two. On this one. He killed me. So that's the first death so far. No, no, no! Can't touch this. Da, 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 da. I wondered if I could actually teleport through it or something.
Hey, it's an um animif yeah, I can't still can't say that, sorry. With this new power, you'll be able to break red crystals with your sword, like the ones we can f we can found in this area. Yeah, the uh, English text does need a little bit of work sometimes. There's a bit of uh, weird translations going on here. Let's give it a try. Slash the crystal that block our way and destroy them. Booyah! So, fall back down, I guess. Right, so these things um, don't get hurt by arrows. Probably because of those spiky shell things they're wearing. Or crystal armour. Oh! Oh, you bugger! That got me then. I don't know how I didn't get that before. Thank you. Oh, get those jumps perfect! Oh! What? Huh? Huh? Do I have to get here or what? There we go. Kind of failed that as well. Oops. Awesome. Is it going to be a boss now or something? That's what I'm thinking. Oh, fire person. Let the nightmare begin. Ah! Oh! <laughs> I think that's the end of the alpha. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so that was really fun, guys. So, the first part where I was in the gardens was what I've played before, but initially on the other alpha I played, I'm pretty sure that bit was longer, at least it felt longer to me. Maybe it's because that was my second time 
playing through that bit but honestly um i managed to get all of the white glowing cute fat flyer firefly thingies on the initial version of the alpha i played and it was just that first garden area so the the you know the next part of the video that i did where we were in those kind of like cave areas um that was all new to me so that was totally blind that section and also on the initial alpha i didn't get to play as the uh, i can't remember what it's called off the top of my head but the green character so it was just the red knight with the shield and sword that i got to play as in the initial alpha so yeah so basically part of this video was blind and i hadn't used that green character before at all so yeah i really enjoyed it it does get a lot more like, on the first version of the alpha I played, it started off slow, there wasn't many enemies, and then after a while more enemies appeared, and um, I did die a few times on that actually, but then I was getting used to the controls and stuff, so I was a little bit better on this one, I only died once, and we got one respawn I believe, or was it two? I think it was one. Um, but yeah, really fun. I can see that it will get challenging later on. If they throw a lot of enemies at you, you will ha probably have to switch really quickly between you know your various different powers the knight one the archer one and the blue one i think is kind of like a mage i believe probably uses ice or something like that i can't remember off the top of my head but it's a really fun game it's really pretty so if you would like to see this come to pc um i will list all of the platforms in the video description guys and don't forget also that there is a stretch goal for xbox one ps4 and wii u as well sadly no stretch goal for vita but um obviously it needs to reach that funded goal first which it hasn't done so if you would like to see this game come out then i suggest checking out the link in the video description to the kickstarter page i've enjoyed it so far as soon as i saw this game i thought it was beautiful and yes before anybody asks I can't even speak. Yes, before anybody asks, I have backed it on Kickstarter, so I will be getting a copy of the game um, if it's funded, obviously. So I'm super hyped for that. And I probably will cover it on my channel as well, guys. So if you're interested, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So let me know what you think, guys, in the comments section down below. Please remember this is an alpha demo, so the game isn't complete. It's not this isn't the final version, so uh, please bear that in mind when you are writing your opinions and comments. So that's it for me, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, favourite, share, and of course subscribe if you haven't done so already. As always, thank you for watching, and take it easy, guys.